Hey foodies, I thought I'd switch things up a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to temper some chocolate. I love working with chocolate. Chocolate is one of my favorite things to work with. Not necessarily my favorite thing to eat, but it's always so much fun because you can be so creative. And I've got molds and we've got chocolate and it's really not hard as long as you follow a few simple easy steps. For tempering chocolate, you want to melt your chocolate to the point where it just starts to melt and then you want to take it to uh, about 36 degrees centigrade and then bring it down between 29 and 34. I'm using a dark chocolate and that's the temperature you want to use. And the reason why you want to take it down to 29 to 34 is you, you want it so when it sets up the beta crystals in it don't separate. So there's, there's different fats in it and you want to make sure that those fats don't separate out and create that that marbled, ironically, marbled look in your chocolate. And there's a number of ways that you can temper. One is using a hot water bath. So you have a pot of water boiling with water and then you put your bowl, like your stainless steel bowl, on top without the water touching it and the steam melts the chocolate. Another way is I'm just gonna microwave it in 30 second bursts until I get melted chocolate. So I'm gonna melt this in the microwave because it's so quick and easy and then I'll let you know how much I did for this, okay? Okay, so there's 30 seconds of it, and you can see just on the sides, it's starting to melt a little bit. I'm just gonna give it a stir, just to make sure that it's all well combined. I'm using the same chocolate, it's just two different batches. One is um, a chip, and then the other is, I got a huge block of chocolate that I was trying to work through. And so I had just a little bit left over of the block of chocolate, so I thought, oh, I'll just mix the two together. As long as they're all consistently around the same size, you're good. Okay, so there's a minute. You can really start to see it starting to melt. I think another 30 seconds, and it will be almost there, and then we'll probably do like 20 to 30 seconds after that. But you can see it's melting already, and you don't want to overheat it, because then it really will just take that much longer to, to temper your chocolate. Okay, there's the third round. And now I'm melting a lot of chocolate here. You may not want to melt this much chocolate, which means <clears throat> you might be done already. But you can see that's a minute and a half. You can see that it's starting to, to really melt and develop, and which is really nice. I think 30 more seconds and it'll be perfect. Okay, let's get that in there. Okay, so there we go. I think I can work with that. You can see it's really becoming quite liquid. And I'm just gonna stir it up until all the lumps are gone. And then we're gonna check the temperature of it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Check the temperature. So it's 36.5 Celsius which is exactly where you want it to be. So now I want to bring the temperature down. So there's a couple of ways that I can do that. I can pour the chocolate out onto this marble slab, which I'll do some of it. And then I want to fold it into itself. This marble itself is cold. So when I'm folding it into itself, it's cooling as it touches the marble and then I'm folding it on top to cool the rest. And then I just bring it down to the temperature. The other way is to take more chocolate and pour it in to bring the temperature down. So I'm gonna start by just pouring in some chocolate to bring the temperature down to 29 to 32 degrees Celsius. You can see just how quickly all that chocolate is melting. And this is where it's really important to have consistent sized chocolate for melting. And you'll know it's real chocolate when there's cocoa in the ingredient list. Okay, let's check the temperature. 33, it's getting there. So there you go, that's tempered chocolate. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this up for about 10 seconds and then I'm gonna show you how to do it on the marble slab. Okay, so I've got pre-tempered chocolate. And then just giving it a quick stir. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this out. 
And I'm going to pour about two thirds of it down. Okay, and I'll set that aside. Look at that beautiful looking chocolate. Now, which hand do I want to use? So you spread it out really nicely. And then you just scoop it back into itself. This can be really fun for the kids to do. Look at that. Oh. temperature quickly. Look at that! Perfect! 28 degrees. So I'm going to take it one more degree cooler and then I'm going to pour it back into my hot chocolate that I haven't been working with and that's going to bring it back up to a workable temperature. Just cleaning up my work surface. Okay, now for the fun messy stuff. Let's pull that out for a minute. It's getting there. Okay, now I give that a stir just to combine the tempered chocolate and the non-tempered chocolate to bring it all up to a nice temper. I'm stirring it all together to mix the beta crystals and get all those fats, the good fats, combined properly. And it's 28.6, that's exactly what I want to work with. That is how you work with tempered chocolate. From this point, we can pour it into chocolate trays, in molds, in forms, and make all kinds of things. Thanks for watching.